Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today we're going to transform three empty cookie tin containers into glamorous keepsake boxes that you can use as a jewelry box or to store your old pictures, postcards, or family recipes. To help us out with today's craft project, we will also need some additional materials available from either Dollar Tree or Dollarama. For our first box, a square cookie tin container, we will need four frameless square mirror tiles. The ones from Dollar Tree measure 5 by 5 inches, but due to the size of my cookie tin, I'll need these smaller ones from Amazon that measures 4 by 4 inches. When bought in bulk, these mirror tiles come to about 50 cents a piece. To embellish the box, we will also be using some diamond wrap. Amazon sells them in both silver and in black. We can also use these small round gem stickers and some loose flat back gems. An assortment of loose flat back gems are available from the Dollar Tree, but I found these clear ones in a variety of sizes from Hobby Lobby. We will also be using some of these silver beaded necklace. To help us out with today's craft project, we will also need some fix-all and our handy dandy hot glue gun. Mine was purchased from Amazon. To begin, we're going to separate out the lid from the rest of the cookie tin, and then we will adhere the four mirror tiles onto the container lid. To ensure that the mirror is firmly secured to the box, I have chosen to apply some Fix-All rather than hot glue. Fix-All will offer a more secure, long-lasting hold. I also chose Fix-All over hot glue because I want to ensure that my mirror lays as flat as possible on the box surface. In the past, I have made the mistake of using hot glue to adhere mirrors to a surface, and because the hot glue tends to dry in clumps, the mirror was not sitting flat on the surface and there were large unsightly gaps between the mirror and the surface that it was lying on. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. With the mirror tiles applied, you may want to wait overnight for the glue to cure. So set the lid aside and let's work on the rest of the container box. With the black surface for this tin, I have chosen this diamond wrap. Cut it to size and then adhere it to the tin box with some hot glue or white glue. If using white glue, you'll need to wait a couple of hours for the material to adhere securely. But if you're using hot glue, make sure you apply only small amounts at a time. Because the diamond wrap is mesh, you want to be very careful that you don't apply too much hot glue or the hot glue will ooze through the mesh and you may easily burn your fingers from the hot glue. And here is what the box looks like so far. Once the diamond wrap is secured to the tin container, you may want to add some additional embellishments. Here I'm applying some different shaped clear loose flat back gems. You can apply the gems in any pattern you prefer. Here I have chosen a floral pattern in the center. 
For this part of the project, I will be using white glue to adhere the gems. That way, I have enough time to make adjustments to my pattern before the white glue sets in. And you can choose to embellish each side of the box or just one side. And here I'm using some hot glue to apply a string of silver beaded necklace towards the base of the tin container. I'm feeling like there is still something missing, so I turn the container upside down. We will be adding some large diamond-shaped acrylic gems, one on each corner. Here, you can see I'm applying the hot glue to the flat side of the gems. These will become the legs of the keepsake box to give it a bit of height and some additional bling. And here is what the box looks like with the legs. Let's set it aside and turn our attention back to the lid. The mirrors are firmly secured to the top of the lid, but the lid is still lit looking a little sad. So I'm adding these clear round gem stickers along the sides of the lid. I ended up adding a total of three rows of gem stickers and now I'm applying the same silver beaded necklace that we used previously onto the tin container. This will really dress up the lid and complement very nicely with the rest of the container.
With all the hot glue we have used on the lid, I'm taking a dry paintbrush to remove the hot glue strings. Then I'm going to use some glass cleaner to remove all the marks and fingerprints. And here's the final look for our first tin container mirrored keepsake box. And the lid fits on top perfectly and now the container is ready to be showcased on my table with my old photos and mementos safely held inside the box. For our second keepsake box, we have this red tin box, which I will transform into a beautiful silver box with lots of bling. For this box, I use some silver glitter paper and some mini mirror tiles, along with some silver mesh ribbon for the bottom, and some pearl border stickers to add an elegant design flair. For the lid, we applied a hexagon mirror in the center with a silver bangle to the center of the hexagon mirror. For the rest of the tin lid, I applied some silver diamond wrap and finished off the lid with some silver rhinestone ribbon along the sides of the lid and a string of silver beaded necklace to frame the mirror and the edge of the lid. And for our third keepsake box, we took this round butter cookie tin container and transformed it into a beautiful one-of-a-kind jewelry box. For the tin container, I used a panel of mini mirror tiles and some rhinestone ribbon where the mini mirror tiles were gapped. I also added some silver glitter to the top of the center of the container so none of the original blue color of the tin color showed through. For the lid, I first painted it white with some leftover primer I had from a previous project. Then I applied a round mirror to the center of the lid and applied a string of silver beaded necklace to frame the mirror. I continued with some alternating flat back pearls, some clear round gem stickers, and a string of silver beaded necklace, and then one final round of flat back pearls. To add to the finishing touches of the lid, I adhere a beautiful silver crystal doorknob to the center top of the mirror. Comment down below and let me know what you would store in these boxes, and which box did you like best? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, hit the notification bell and check out the next videos for more ideas on how to upscale, repurpose, and beautify old boxes that you may have lying around the house.